and welcome back. Well, before we add in our supporting edges for this tail section, we need to do a little bit of modification and also close this section up here at the rear. So we put it into the vertex and I'm just going to select those there. Okay, I don't need these here selecting at the moment, so I'm just pressing Alt, uh, left clicking, holding it down and deselecting those. We're going to go to Make Planar and we'll click X. Deselect those and then I need to select these on this side there, make planar on the x-axis, then we'll select both sections, so if I press control, go down there, select them, press R for our scale tool, and then scale them in. What I'm looking to do is to get them lined up with the tail section up there. Let me just press Alt so I can rotate around a little bit. That's not looking too bad. Just need to bring these two in here a little bit. Up we go. I can actually select those. Deselect these here. Select that one there and that one there. And take those in a little bit this one, W key to bring in our move tool, straighten that up a little bit. Now I need to go to our edge. What we're going to do is select these edges down here and those edges down there. So press control, I'm just going to run down, select those edges there, down to that bottom there then up this side here move down here and what we're looking for is bridge and that bridges it all up in fact I'm gonna undo that because I wanna do it with the settings here um, you'll notice that we have uh, a line running down the middle there. We also want to repeat that down that section there. So if we say 2, that includes that, and we'll say OK. Now we can't leave it like that because that point there isn't welded to there and that point isn't welded to there. What do I mean by that? Well, if we pop in, have a look, go into Vertex, and as you can see that vertices there is already selected. Let's rotate around. I'm just going to pull that and you can see that it's not actually connected to that vertices there. We need to do that so let's pop down and we're looking for a weld. Target weld. Select that. Click that vertices there and you can see that line being dragged out, that dotted line just go on and select that vertices there that's welded and we need to do the same here at the bottom it's still on target weld click on that there's that dotted line just move it up to that vertices and click there and that's completed that little bit so now we can turn our attentions to modifying the top section up here just zoom out a little bit now this section here actually tapers so we need to modify that there and that there. Just rotate around a little bit there so I can see. Excellent. Pull this down. I'm going to select those vertices. Turn off target weld. I'm going to select those vertices there. Hit R with our scale tool and push those in to about there. We also need to do the same to these two vertices. Push those in about there. 
Now we need to sort them out down here. Let's just come out a little bit. Here I can select that one. Pressing Alt key, we can select that one. And then just taper those in a little bit there. Let's come down. Select that one. Alt key, select that one. Taper that in just a little bit there. And then these. Alt key. Taper that in there. Now we also need to select these here. So control select that. Let's just put that on to move to for a moment. Select that one, that one, and that one. And we need to bring these back a little bit. About there. And then finally, this one here. Bring it up to about there. Might just take those in a little bit there. That's looking better. So now we can look at strengthening our edges. Let's turn around a little bit. Have a look. Yep. So what we need to do now is select our edge. We've got those selected there. So if I press Control and continue selecting these. We need to select these at the bottom as well. These two. Basically it's all the edges in this area that need supporting. So that one, that one. I'll just rotate. Zoom in, just bring it down. Pressing my control key, select that one, that one, that, that, that one there, and that one there. Just zoom out now. Let's have a look. Looks as though we have everything. If you're wondering what this is around here, this is the bounding box. It just tells you the area which this piece of geometry is taking up. Okay, so we have that selected there. Now we need to pop down our menu and we're looking in for this section and we want to chamfer. So we'll hit the settings there. Now you'll notice that it goes absolutely crackers. And that's because this is set at one meter. So let's press the left key on that just to clear it. And now we want to just nudge that section there. Right, so we've got it at point zero three. Let's just zoom in a little bit and you can see what it's doing, it's actually chamfering the edge there and along. We'll say OK for that. Go back up to the root. Come back. Rotate round. And what we need to do now is see if it actually can stand our turbo smooth being applied. Here goes. Tell you something, that is not too bad. As you can see, it's put in quite a few more lines. It's put supporting lines down there as well. But that 
was kept its shape. Let's just hit F4 for a moment. Any artifacting? Now artifacting is anything that look, doesn't look right. We can see that there are stress points around there but that's acceptable. That's not looking too bad. Some artifacting along there but again as acceptable as that amount. Yep. Okay, let's see what it's like when it's rendered. Um, I've just got the active frame. It's a single, yeah, active time segment. Don't worry, we'll be going through this lot when it comes time to render. Output size, custom. I'll just... HDTV video. Let's render, see what it's like. I think we're getting there. Definitely think we're getting there. That's looking quite good. Now we still have quite a bit of work to do on the fuselage. Um, but I think with the next lesson, the next tutorial, we'll start doing the wings, the main wings down here. So, unhide our reference material, unhide our frame helpers, and we'll pick it up in the next tutorial. I'll catch you later. Thank you.